In the West African nation of Ghana, a town called Mepe struggles for survival. This once thriving fishing and farming community is the victim of an American dam. The village elders faced with the area's demise have found a leader to guide them. They call him Togbi. What were you doing there? Holiday. On holiday, <laughs> that's where you got vacation. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Uh, yeah. It doesn't happen every day that someone on disability benefits living on the edge of Amsterdam becomes a, a chief in Africa. Hank Ate's life as a construction worker was simple until a trip to Ghana changed everything. I think it's a gender-reversed fairy tale where the regular guy meets a beautiful princess and she sweeps him off to her kingdom and he inherits an entire people. It was during that trip that Ate was identified as the reincarnation of a late chief, his wife's grandfather. My wife's come from Ghana and her grandfather was a chief and if I didn't met her, I was just uh, playing Hank Otter in Amsterdam. Wow, the big chief. He has this gift. We are aware of it. Yes, he's a reincarnation to my grandfather. It's just we are the chosen one. Yeah? With his life forever changed, he had become a leader to over 300,000 people until controversy threatened his crown. The chieftaincy and our culture cannot be bought by anybody. I feel like I'm in prison for a crime I don't commit. This is the incredible true story of how an ordinary man became a king. The beauty of Hank Otter is that he's a simple guy who means nothing in our society. You put him on another continent, 